Hi everyone, I'm Brianna and welcome to my channel. Now today, ooh, ignore whatever cracking you're gonna hear, that's just the chair I'm sitting on and I can't sit still, so I'm moving around a little bit. So anyways, today we're gonna be discussing how the universe has your back and giving some real life examples of it in my life. All right. So I had made a TikTok. I had made a TikTok a few days ago saying that when you're manifesting, don't worry about the how it comes into fruition because that's the universe's job. You just got to focus on setting your intention, knowing what you want and taking the action to get it, right? So that's sort of what I was talking about in my TikTok and I just gave you a brief overview. And the universe really, really does have your back, right? So the universe will, the universe, your spirit guides, whatever you believe in is a higher power. That I'm going to be saying universe, but it's whatever you believe in as a higher power. So the universe has your back. The universe will get it to you. If you set your intention and you take action towards it and it's really what you want, you put that intention out there, you will get it. It may not be at a time of, I need this now, I'm going to get it now. It may not be like that, but the universe will bring it in for you when it is the time is right and the universe will prepare you for it emotionally, physically, mentally. They'll just make, the universe will help you make room for your manifestation. They'll help you begin to vibrate on this, at the frequency of your manifestation. There's my dog. Don't scratch my feet. Don't do that. There's my dog. This is Sadie. Anyways, so the universe will help you vibrate at that frequency, radiate that kind of energy so that your manifestation will come to you, right? So if you're tending to manifest bigger things, you're going to need to have a frequency change. And that is the job of the universe to help you get there. And I kind of want to give like a real world example for my life, right? So um, I'm manifesting like moving out to living in New York City people you know there's so many opportunities for me to grow and thrive in New York and so what I've been noted I've this is I've been manifesting this for a few years now and just now when I say just now I mean like since July like end of July ish I've been I've suddenly had to grow up and a, be an adult. I am an adult. I've, I'm 19, so I've been an adult for a while. Don't bite me. Why'd you do that? She gave me a love nip and it kind of hurt. Um, anyways, so I feel like I've been since July. So how many months is that? Like about three months now, maybe less. I feel like I've had to grow up and I've been growing, like growing up. Like I'm, I already feel like I'm mature, but like the maturity and the responsibility I've been facing is insane. These past, past two months, like it's suddenly just switched, like a switch turned on in my brain and stop it. Don't do that, please. Be nice. Okay. Be nice. Don't look at me like that. Sorry. Um, but like a switch turned on in my brain and I'm suddenly this new person. Like my energy is often quite chaotic and I can't seem to stick to a routine, but I've suddenly been able to have and stick to a routine. I, first of all, backstory, so y'all don't hate on me, but I grew up very privileged and I didn't really have to do that many chores in my own household because like... My mom, she's the best and she loves to clean. So my sister and I never really had to like do the dishes, do laundry and stuff like that growing up. Like it just wasn't 
on the agenda. Like it wasn't required of us to do. It wasn't like really requested. And my parents just got a divorce. So my, it's only my mom, my sister and I living in our house and it's kind of big. And my mom's been going on a lot of work trips. So I've suddenly had to take on this role of taking care of myself and cleaning up after myself and doing the same for my sister and all the animals. It's not just like, yeah. So I've had to grow up and take on all these responsibilities. And I mean, it feels like the universe is preparing me to live alone because I, I feel ready. Like I had said that before, like a year ago. And I was like, but well, I, like, I always made jokes with my friends, like, oh, if we moved in together, we'd be so messy and we wouldn't be able to pick up after ourselves. But now, like, I don't believe that at all. I truly do think I could handle living alone and being able to take care of myself alone. And I've had, like, just last night, um, if you saw my TikTok, I had, like, made some tea and after I posted that, I was like going to check on the ingredients because like, hmm, this tastes a little bit more than just spearmint and peppermint. So I went to go look at the ingredients and it had something called like a rose hip in it. First of all, I don't know, like, I didn't know what that was and it sounds kind of funky. But then I was like, oh, I'm allergic to roses. So I looked it up and I was like, well, it turns out it's like some part of a rose bush. And I was like, fuck, I'm probably allergic to this. Turns out I was and I was home alone. So I didn't really like, I was kind of freaking out understandably because I'm like really allergic to roses so I just took like Benadryl and that sort of made me like realize that like I'm ready to deal with these sort of crises you know I'm ready to live on my own and the fact that I was able to deal with that situation a very serious situation and being able to come out of it on the other side perfectly fine I think that's the that's the power of the universe. The universe is preparing me for these things, preparing me for my manifestation. And it happens so quickly. And so that's a sign to me and a sign you can take that once these, these switches happen, your manifestation is coming quick. So y'all better stay updated with me because I'm going to give you all the tea. But that's really what's going on. Uh, hey, be nice to him. Don't do that, Sadie. My dog is being a menace to my cat. Anyways, that's kind of it for today. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and check out my TikTok and Instagram. And the links are in the description box below. I'll see you guys next week, this week.